Hi, so this is yet another video on upscaling. Been something on my mind recently. And this is sort of how to fix some of the problems of upscaling, whether it's um, ultimate or any of the tiled upscaling. So this is tiled upscaling. I'll quickly go through what tiled upscaling is. Tiled upscaling, if we go to our original image here. Tiled upscaling breaks this image into, into small sections and process, enlarges them, processes them individually, and then puts them all back together again. So this particular one, this is McBoaty Large Refiner, chops it into nine images, three across, three across, three across, three down, three down, three down, and does each section separately, and then puts them back together again. So the result is a better image at the end of the day, but it comes with problems. When it does just this square with this prompt, it tries to put everything in there. It tries to put a steampunk castle, the lot, in there. And you, and you can uh, reduce that slightly by changing this, plot, this uh, prompt around. But I'm not doing that, that in this case because I, I want to show the problems and how to fix them as well. So the result is, we go to the result, uh, it goes through the upscaler and comes out the other side looking a lot more beautiful. All of this stuff looks great. However, we have a seam here and another glitch there and a seam down here as well. That, that's not as bad as it might be, but, but we, we have. And this has gone through at uh, Denoise 35. We could reduce this a bit if we went down to 25, but uh, if we went down to 25, we wouldn't get all the nice stuff happening in here. So you can't win. There's a trade-off always with uh, a tiled upscaler. So this was uh, an attempt at a workflow to get around that. And there's two sorts of problem, really. There's um, problems where it's um, imagined something you don't want. And there are problems where you have a tile showing. So the first module here is to sort out how the tiles. So we'll, we'll and the second module is, is doing the hard stuff. So we make this group to never, and then we can sort out this seam. And it does that by reloading the original image here. This is the original image we made this image from. And what we do is produce and process a little bit of that <laughs> to cover up the join. Uh, so we cut a little bit out of that, blow it up, and stick it over the join in very simple terms. So we see where our join is. So what we do is we open in Preview Bridge here. We open in Mask Editor and we paint over our join. That's what I call. There's a little bit there as well. Try a little bit there. So that's that's gone over our join. So if we save that to the node, we can see that that's there. And then what happens to go through this quickly is the mask is blurred. The image has dropped down. The mask is blurred and uh, you don't really need to understand what happens here, but um, essentially, and then a bit of this is chopped out and dropped into that. So we'll run that, and there we go. Uh, that's quite improved, not, probably not as improved as I want, where you can see between the two. It's very good there. So we probably want to 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 make that a little bit uh, a little bit wider, maybe. So we can open in Mask Editor. Take it over that way and over that way a little bit. And there we go. That's better still. And I think that's done really. Um, now what we can do, we can do really fine tune. The, it, it, I think it's a little bit dark here. So we can actually correct that. If we go to minus three and try that. And there we go. Better still. And th these changes are instant. So you can do point whatever you want, really. It, it, it's a little bit saturated. We could go minus six on the saturation, but you get my drift. That's even better. Um, you get my drift, you can, you can fine tune it to your heart's content. So that's the soft stuff done. However, I put it through Boaty twice and the result, and I put it in at, at 0.5, quite a high denoise, and the result is here. Now our buildings here have gone even more super gorgeous. They are great. But we've got a few glitches, as you would expect, <laughs> at 0.5. So we've got we an extra landscape here. Castles. God, you name it, we have it in here. We have the big seam, obviously, even stronger now. You can see it run all the way down. And we have more castles over here and all this. And we've got sort of extra horizon here for some reason. So what we want <laughs> is to take this back to this here. So um, so we do exactly the same thing. And this is set slightly differently. The uh, mask is, isn't blurred as much. Uh, I think we might 
we might make it a bit more than that, we make it 10 pixels. But you can adjust this to your heart's content. You can, you can adjust it after you, all this you can do after you've done your generations. So it's not taking any time really. Blue radius to 10. And we'll start by painting out the stuff we don't want. So we don't want all this lot here. So we open the mask editor, paint out the extra castles. And we've got an extra, extra castles everywhere here. I'm not sure I like the old sun much there either. And how close you go here, is up to you really. Um, you can fine tune it however you want really. I find it's often best to, to uh, not make the edges too uh, obvious. The straight joins are obviously going to show more. We've got a little glitch here, we'll get that. And uh, I think the glitch there is on, on the original, so we can't actually get rid of that, but uh, that's a very minor thing. And I can't really see anything else, so we'll save that to the node. So here we are, and uh, that's worked pretty well. We've, uh, see our, our, our starry sun has gone. Let's go to the, get these three in there so we can see. So we're pretty good. Um, we've got our new, we fixed just about everything, I think. That all looks great. Ah, but our seam is back. So of course, the seam is back on this, so it's come. So it's quite simple to uh, go back into Mask Editor. You can be fairly generous with this. Cue that. It takes a moment um, because of the mask blurring is quite um, processor intensive. And once again, we have the color cast and the color cast is the, the same as last time, essentially. You get a, a slight change in, uh, in colors or nearly always. So um, the uh, saturation can go down five, brightness can go down three. They're usually the same settings. So there you go. Uh, you can see that that has uh, fixed that. It's even better than last time, actually. I, I was more, a bit more careful on the uh, on the settings. We we still have the slight seam here. If it worries you, that can be got. But uh, I'm not really sure I am too fast about that. So this is the original image coming in. The C is better. Let's have that. Let's do a proper job. Eh? So we open that in Mask Editor. It's not much of an alteration. I would just do a little bit like that, I think. Save it to Node. Run that and see if it changes. And there we go, all done. <laughs> a slight ghost, because you've got a little ship there. But you, you, I think you see what I mean. You can fine tune to your heart's content. So we need to take a little chunk out of there. And there we go, even that's gone. So I hope that was uh, helpful and useful. I shall put this workflow in the uh, in the words underneath the video. And as I say, this will work with the ultimate upscaler. It's completely agnostic as far as, but it must be a tiled upscaler, because uh, it's fixing the problems that that only they suffer from. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.